for Alex, he had quite a bit of an overbite, and then he also had a bit, a bit of crowding in his bottom teeth. Um, additionally, he had some teeth that were um, crooked on the top and maybe up a little high in the gum line, and um, that's what we were trying to correct. Alex was very hesitant to start treatment again for his teeth since he had been through um, an earlier phase when he was about 10. Alex was pretty determined that he would not wear braces again. And so I thought, you are going to wear braces again. It's a long-term health maintenance type of thing to have um, your teeth corrected. And he said, Mom, you know, hands down, I want the Invisalign. When he had the traditional braces, um, he had a lot of issues with mouth sores. Um, where you would have to put the wax or something on the um, on the braces, and he has not had any mouth sores or any issues, you know, with um, the Invisalign in his mouth. Alex is very active. He's active in sports. He plays um, baseball, football, and basketball. When we were initially looking at getting him back into his treatment plan, we wanted to coordinate that with his sports. He has a football mouth guard and he wears it no problems with it. It just fits right over the Invisalign. That made it very easy for him to be able to fit the corrective action of the braces into his lifestyle. Dental hygiene is a big thing and he's able to floss and Alex is able to brush and he brushes just like normal. Um, he doesn't have those hard to get to spots because of the braces or it's not a time consuming um, event to floss his teeth. He just flosses like normal and um, so it's good gum hygiene as well as um, teeth hygiene and he's happy and he smiles and he, you know he didn't smile he's very self-aware when he had the traditional braces on where he didn't smile all the time he's very self-conscious and now he smiles in fact his fingernails are growing now because he doesn't bite his fingernails anymore so <laughs> he broke that habit <laughs>